Hey love bugs, it's Riles and Mac at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, please, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, you know. And it's just like with all that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Um, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. My uh, videos is blessed and protected. Anything that's sent to me in a negative ill will turn is turning back to sender. So God bless you. But anyways, the video that I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. If people treat you like an option, leave them like it's a choice. <laughs> okay. It is like we go through so many different things. At times, you know, um, you know, we're human. It'll be like you want to be wanted, you want to be loved, you want to be heard, you want to be seen, you want to be appreciated. But there will be different times in the world, <clears throat> not in the world, but through your life, you know, uh, whatever we're lacking in our life, you know, universe and God will put us in situations so we can even the balance. You know, make your your you know weaknesses become your greatest strength. You know, you go through, you know, uh, things that really triggers that things that we have to learn lessons from. That later on, when you understand, you'll be truly appreciative of that. You shouldn't, you know, if you know you're a genuine person or anybody, you know, um, you shouldn't have to make somebody be in your life. Never cater towards toxicity. You know, there'll be different people that want you to prioritize them, but they won't mind. You know, being comfortable with always constantly inconveniencing you. If you are that person that always reaching out to see how that person is doing and never do that either, unless it's something they want, you have to understand this, the situation is not even, you know, uh, equal. So it's just like different things <clears throat> you're going through in life that really are helpful. You know, when you're allowing yourself to really heal, you know, if you've been with me for a while, you've heard me say whatever you're lacking in your life universe and God will put you in situations to show you what needs to change you know we're all mirror images of each other there's certain things we lack there's certain things we have to pay attention to there's certain things we have to step back let go of certain things we need to know on a deeper level you know to really get us to the next stage and these are the things that are very beneficial towards us you know because I had to be able to change my verbiage <laughs> around when um when you think about situations you're in it's like negative positive you know universe don't see that he just they see energy you know they feel the vibe and that's what we have to do you know and a lot of times we go through some very harsh things you know when it's harsh like how can you not say this is negative but you know it depends on what it is and it's like I, I am old you know when you go through different things it can be the most rowdiest thing you know but it teaches you so much about yourself what you really need to know what you need to strength you know what you need to accept what you need to let go of what does not even deserve your attention and you're going through these things where you know people if they see that you're that type of person you know some I always say all the time some people think um, empath stand for idiot you know just because you have that kind heart it's not because you're dumb or anything like that it could be you sometimes <clears throat> we go through stuff it will be like damn why did I why did I say this or why didn't I see the signs you know and there's a lot of times where the signs are always there but we are ignoring and giving an excuse for certain things it's just showing you how these people truly are you know and you really had to be able to do that it's like don't get comfortable with collecting red flags you know be that person that's very attentive you know, see how people talk about different things. Are they very secretive? Are those certain things that just ain't coming out right? Or they say one thing right now, and then the next time they'll say something different. You have to be able to pay attention to a lot of the things when you're going in life. You know, you should value yourself very, you know, very heavy. And a lot of times people think that's being selfish because you love yourself. You know, it's different from you being conceited and just being confident. You know, you're being confident. I, I know I'm the bomb. I got bomb ass energy. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to spill that all off on everybody. You know, I want to be able to make a move. I want to be able to show you how to make a move too. You know, if I win, I want to see you win. You know, you, you see somebody doing something and you know that they got that true talent to really take them somewhere and they slacking. But hey, why the heck you over here sleeping on yourself? Wake up. <laughs> we got some stuff to do. You got some stuff to be, you know. You about to reach some pinnacles you ain't never expected to. Stop laying around. Stop procrastinating. Put your all in today. You know. And it can get on your nerves. Or you got somebody that's really being brutally honest to you. Because this is something you need to hear. You know, sometimes we um, 
we don't tell the truth on things that we really need to when it comes to people because we fear that they may be mad at us because we're not telling them what they want to hear. You never want, you know, because it's like me, I'm like, you want me to tell you the truth because I'm not going to sit up here and lie, you know, because there's sometimes I ain't even going to lie. There'll be certain things that I don't like, but then when it, it, it's when I know a person coming from a genuine place, when I'm talking about people that are passive aggressive and they're really trying to hit below a belt and saying, oh, this is out of love. No, that's toxicity, trauma bonding. No, they trying to, you know, throw a rock and hide the hand and be passive aggressive. That's a whole different story. But when somebody really sees your light and really sees your potential, and you may be, you know, lacking or insecure about certain things, especially when we move on towards something we never did before. It's very scary because you don't know where this can turn out at, you know. And there'll be some people who come into your life and they'll see good intention for you and purposely send you down a way that is it's going to be worse than what you're doing now. Because they see, they see what you can make your life of. You know, there are some time people are supportive until you start becoming competition. People want to see you do good, but just not better than them. And that's other people's insecurities. But you end up having people in your life that really want to see the best come out of you. Those people are genuine. You know, there have been times, you know, where I'll be on the phone talking to another empath. And, you know, it may be something I'm going through that day. And, we, you know, we talking and stuff like that. And they give you something positive. Make you be able to look at your situation in a total different way. You know, but there will be times where you have to really honor yourself. There is nobody that needs that is that important to keep somebody in your life that don't value you. If this person is constantly comfortable with misunderstanding you, you need to walk away. Because it's the person that, you know, they see all the good in you and they're trying to tear it down. There's people who are just like that out there. I know it, you don't understand why, but there's some people who are just like that, you know. And these are the different things that we go through. It's like a blessing in disguise. It's like everything has a purpose for happening. There's always a blessing in every situation you go through. You know, and when you allow yourself to really step back, even look at the most negative things in your life, it, you know, and we can get to that point, like, why does it have to happen to me? Why I always got to go through that? And it's like, universe, change the words around. What am I trying to teach you? What do you need to learn? Not about yourself, but just your surroundings. You got to be choicy about what you choose to entertain. You got to be choicy about the people you lay down with and sleep with. You know, the people you hold close. You know, and, and it's crazy. You have to even worry about family. You know, you even have to worry about family. Sorry, y'all, I'm in my bedroom. My dad going laptop is really, you know, trying to shake. But just going through things. You have to love yourself enough to know if this is not feeding my soul, this is not elevating me, you got me questioning my own worth. Baby, uh, 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 that's toxic to my soul. You know, I always tell people when you start meeting people and you know you're a strong person and you talk, but then all of a sudden you meet some random person, all of a sudden you start stumbling on your words. Or you may be talking to somebody and, you know, you'll get that vibe like, hey, don't tell them that. You're going to like, wow, wow. And that should let you know, check out the signs, you know. Because there are certain things that universe don't want you speaking on, you don't know. Because some people come into your life because it'll be word of mouth, word of mouth, and they come in and trick you. Just to be able to get somebody, because the person's already hating on you, they send somebody else in. Just because they know that you ain't going to tell them. So they'll send a bait in there and do that. Just try to get some information out to see where they can hit you at. You know, there'll be different things you go off in your life. You know, don't, if you can't say nothing good, don't say it at all. You know, when people are just constantly, you know, be doing that little slick stuff. They always want to throw shade at you. You know, it's because they're jealous of you. Even you ain't got to even do nothing. You know, you Coming into a room, coming to a room, and they already got an attitude, looking like they got the gas face. You know, I'm like, why is it, why are they saying good morning? Hell, it's morning, and it feel all good to me. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you know, and you ain't even got to do that. Cause there's a lot of people that just hate themselves. You know, there's things in you that you really have and you see potential. You know, we're all going through different things, and it's to elevate. You know, through learning growth. You know, we have to be able. A lot of times, universe and people they send our way. There are certain things we ain't going to want to do. And there's a lot of things that you want to get to, but you're going to have to do what you want to do to get to it. Sometimes you're trying to wonder this, this, and that, and God be quiet. You have to understand, you know, teachers are quiet when, he, when they're testing you. You know, when, when God really wants you to see, you know, your true potential on that, he'll send you in different areas for you to really, it, it comes out to really make you look at it. Because a lot of times when we go through our ups and downs, 
it's easy for us to look at everything in a negative way. And sometimes, you know, it, it heat of the moment. So you're not going to see something positive about that, you know. And there's different things that I learned throughout, you know, my situation, even through life, you know, because it would be sometimes I was just so lonely, you know. I was, like I tell people, I was promiscuous, you know, during my young age. It's not something, I, you know, I brag about. You know, I was looking for love in all the wrong places. And me being, you know, out there like that, it was because the love I wasn't getting, you know. And I always felt like this is the closest connection I can ever get. And it was like I put myself in situations and be around people that, that you know, really wasn't good for me. I put myself in situations where I could have died, you know. And I, I, at that time, I was going through so much so I didn't really care about myself, you know. But now I'm of age and it's just like, you know, you can't be out here sleeping around with a lot of people. I was actually, I don't know, celibate for six years. Yeah, it done drove me crazy. But I know it's the best benefit for me. You know, I can't be laying down with everybody. You can't be laying down with everybody. There's so many different things that's going around in this world, you know. And it's just not the diseases, but the energy that people give out is <laughs> about as bad as the, you know, that. Because it's like when you see that somebody always got something going on. It's always arguing, always drama. You know, you sleep with that person, all of a sudden you opening yourself up to all the karma they're getting is going to come right to you too. And it's like you got to be very selective on the company you keep. You got to be picky. Like, why are people, why are you being so selective? Why are you going to be picky? You see what settling gets you. <laughs> Do you understand what settling gets you? Do you always need to listen, you know, when you're doing things? Because there's some people that come your way and really want to throw you off your game. Because there, there's something about you that they're really intrigued about. You know, oh, I love your energy and drain the hell out of you. <laughs> Why am I so tired after this person left? I feel a little depleted and them go plug in. You know, and they, they feel that with you. I don't know, understand how I'm still trying to get to the bottom of the, you know, bottom of that. Why do we, you know, how do these people come in and it's like, oh, you got that energy. I don't know how. But I guess it's just like we sniff other empaths out, you know. And it's just like you got that hidden talent that a lot of people just don't have. And, you know, you go through different things in your life, and it's a, it's a positive growth of learning lessons, you know. And just like I said, there would be times that our people please. And knowing they shouldn't have been doing something like that, and they asked me, I'm like, yeah, it's good. And I'm like, oh, did they not know what they were doing? Now it's just like, you really want me to tell you the answer because it, it's just, you know, you may not like what I, yeah, I got to say. You know, I'd rather be hit with the truth and get hurt by that than be, you know, in a masquerade of lies, you know. And you can't be people pleasing because you're scared you might lose somebody. If you got to be with somebody that will put you in an uncomfortable position to make them comfortable, there's nobody to be around. You know, you shouldn't have to sugarcoat, you know, what what's going on in the world today. And they start looking at you crazy. Like, why are we talking about this? Why you always be talking about weird stuff like that? They ain't on that same vibe as you. You need to cut them out. You know, you want to be, you know, more talking, you know, talking about how we're going to change the world. You know, I already feel like we hell on earth right now. You know, I've seen so many. I was like, I've been um, stepping away from videos for almost a month. I'm seeing all this crazy stuff going on, on TV. And I'm you talking about, I was already so sensitive. I'm getting mad. You know, heavy in my feelings. You seeing, you know, 16-year-old kids. It was just on the news the other day. Well, it was on the clip because I don't watch TV. Where this boy 16 years old. And, you know, the mom was in the house. I think it happened in Kansas City. The mom was in the house, you know getting an uh, invitation for our, birth, our daughter's first birthday, no, her, brother, um, her son's first birthday, you know, and he getting these out, and she's just in there getting her stuff back. And then I guess her daughter was out there, you know, uh, watering her plants in the back of the yard, and she had her little brother on the hip. I thought that was the mama when they were telling the story, you know, because I really couldn't see it. And she, you know, comes around the car, you know, about to go around the fence and open the door to go to the house. And you see this little boy coming up. He sees that's a child. And he sees that's the baby that she's holding. And this fool was stupid enough to sit up here and shoot at them. And it was God protecting that baby. You know? And you come in. And it was just a situation where, you know, mom got hit in the leg and stuff like that. And it's just like, you know, not to go into details. You know, that was just already enough. Where it was like, I, I was almost in tears. I'm just like, why we have to be this way? Why can't we just love each other? You know, because it was just the way I was looking at it. It felt like it was an initiation of some kind. Because it was like, you know, she ain't did nothing. So I said, this had to be targeted for initiation. You know, people do that. And it's just like you see so many different things going on in the world. 
and it was like I always used to be that type of person it's like I'm like night and day it would be people that know me for years and if they see me now like girl what happened to you man life <laughs> you know I had to get real and really real you know I had to be in my reality I couldn't be up in these illusions so they're tricking myself knowing good well I'm living a lie you know it made me very cautious about who I, I hang around you know cut off a lot of family members you know, don't talk to nobody since my situation. Anyway, I don't talk to anybody. You know, and I had to be able to love being my own best friend. You got to love to be your own best friend sometimes. You know, universe and God will put you in a situation where you had to learn to love yourself. You are you. You in this vessel for a good minute. You know, you got to learn, grow, impact the world, and then go back home again. And hoping and praying God ain't putting you back on here to recarnate. So you trying to make sure you get everything done. Next thing you know, he ended up bringing in the person that drove you crazy. And it ended up being the same person again. You're like, why? What? what? <laughs> you know, be one of those different things. So it's telling you be very cautious. You know, when you have to go early exert yourself to try to prove yourself to somebody and they ain't doing the same, it ain't worth it. You know, why are you doing all the work? You know, anybody who really care about you and they don't have no inferior, what do we call it, in, in th uh, what is it, superior issues, and uh, what is it, inferior, you know, they acting like they whatever, better than you, whatever, you know, if they, you, you being true to yourself makes them uncomfortable, don't, that's certain things you, you, you should not be sacrificing, you know, if it's you, you know, being in a negative situation, you're sacrificed to go ahead and turn a new leaf and start moving positive, you know, in a positive way, then that's good. But things you should not sit up here and sacrifice is willing to change your peace, your self-respect, your self-love, your dignity, you know, your happiness. That's one thing that you know, I'm not about to sit up here and make myself feel uncomfortable because you're uncomfortable. I, You know, people do some things like with me. You know, doing my videos, it irritates the hell out of a lot of people because you got issues with yourself. Don't you know? Uh, can you not do those? Why are you doing this? You know, and it'd be negative, just because I choose to be positive. I'm not a perfect person. I never try to be. I never said I was. You know, I just keep it real. But there's a lot of times people don't like you moving in positivity because they drown it in negativity. They drown with self hate. You know. And there'll be times people want you to change your self-sacrifice, your realness, for you to be fraud. You know, people worry, but you know, people mad when your when your truth and your character outweighs that facade and those lies. You irritate the hell out of people's demons when you choose to move forward in truth. You loving yourself, that's selfish. For me, loving myself? You mean to say I'm not gonna entertain nothing? Well, oh, shit. Well, <laughs> let me be selfish then. You know, because your self-care. You are your top priority. You know, even though we're torchbearers, light workers, and all this stuff that we're here to save the world, we have to be able to change. We got to be the things that we want to see in the world. You have to be able to represent that. You are your advertisement. You're walking your advertisement. You know, could be different times. You know, it's like I never heard of that before. And it's just like you don't have people that are just ignorant like that. You know, they want to talk down to you because you don't trigger somebody. As soon as your energy came in the room, they sniffed. You know, and it just get, you know, I've, I've seen people out walking on, hey, oh, damn, who, who are you? <laughs> you know, do you know me? You know, and it'll be just people like that because you just, there's something about you that's just irritating the people. So I miss, you know, I did that. You know, I've had people threaten me saying, you're black. You're a woman. There is no way in hell you can be a Hayoka. I will meet up with you if you sit up here and make another Hayoka video. Oh, baby, is that a threat? I'll be here. Come on. We good. You ain't. This is my fifth amendment, right? You ain't gonna tell me nothing. I said the last time I forget. This is my damn channel. <laughs> you don't like it? Unsubscribe. Leave me alone. Now, if you want to entertain yourself and get pissed off because I'm speaking the truth, baby, there's, there's something wrong with you in your middle. The lights on and nobody ain't home. But I'm gonna keep telling my truth. People that don't want to see you grow get agitated because you ain't you ain't getting lured into the confusion. You ain't luring delusion. You know, people. Some like they're like that. You know, they don't want to be. They want to be ignorant towards the truth. They want to be closed-minded. They don't want to think outside the box. You ain't here to do that, you know, because universe is using you for a reason, you know. If he putting you through that test, it's because you elevating something that a lot of people need to know about. You going through certain experiences that people going to appreciate. You're inspiring people because you're an inspiring person. You know, a lot of times we feel like, what am I doing? It? <laughs> you don't even do this, and you, you don't know how beautiful you are at times, you know, because sometimes we go through the worst things in life. And, you know, we've been treated so badly. It makes you feel like 
they ain't nothing good about you because people always constantly say negative stuff about you. They didn't support you. There's a lot of times, even when you've grown, there'll be certain people you know and you've known for a long time won't support you just because it's you. They'll sit up here and support somebody else. I've been in situations like that. People are like, yeah, I got this going, this going. You know, you want to join this? We can all do that. Yeah, well, I'm just sitting up here visiting and seeing the sites and everything. You know, and I would never see, you know, no like, no comment, no share, doing stuff like that. And next thing you know, I, I mean, you know, I'm friends with that person that is on this website. And I'm seeing all different stuff there. I'm like, damn, we've known each other since high school. And these are people you don't even know. And you sitting up here giving more props and more information there than you do me. And me and you used to be cool since we go back like four flats. Oh, oh okay. That's, that's an intimidation thing. You don't like that because that's me. And you know, you got people like that. You got really like people like that. I've been in different, you know, Facebook groups and me speaking my truth and me being very informative, you know, and just speaking my mind. Got p people pissed off. Cause they sit up here and say, she black, she shouldn't know that. And I just had to look and laugh. <laughs> Ooh, I said, before I come out of bag on you, I'm just going to walk away, you know, because this is something, th this is a personal issue. It ain't got nothing to do with me. You know, I know my stuff. I don't know, try to sit up here and say I know everything, but I know what I know. If I know I can give somebody insight on something that, you know, it, it could be straight confused. Because you're like, why am I going through this? Why am I going through that? You know, be so many times, you know, you can be walking around just straight confused and not know. You know, and there's many people don't drop comments like, Rosalind, if you already knew, <laughs> you know, I was searching for the meeting of this and this and this and that. And I come on your channel like, boom. I could be going through something last week and you'll end up producing a video this week. And it makes so much sense to me. It gives me comfort. You know, we go through many things. A lot of times we don't understand that, you know, the deeper root on why these things are happening. Why do I always got to be so hard on myself? Why do I always got to do stuff the hard way? Because that's how you, your strength is. You can't just jump over the fence and you just be right there. You don't take that long ride. You know, why don't you just jump over the fence? No, I had to go sightseeing. And it's just for you doing that. And tell you taking shortcuts. Yeah, it got you there. But there are certain things the universe sent you a different direction. Because there's different scenery you need to pay attention to. There's different animals and insects that you need to see. Everything is a sign. You know, everything that comes towards you, get your attention, is some kind of sign. You probably just sit up here, you know, with all the stuff that's going on. And boom, some song come up in your head. You know, universe is, you know, sending so much to you. Because synchronicity is hitting like left and right, left and right, left and right. You'll be certain things could be, you know, abs you know, not even important, but it could be something that just took your attention, and it could be a question like uh, you ask the universe for a question or a confirmation for that, and boom, it's right there, you know, because it's like so many different things is coming out because universe wants you to soak up all information like a sponge. It's teaching you, it's learning you, you know, you passing that on to the next person. It's like we all learn from each other. You know, when you can be open and say, you know, yeah, I know this. Because when you start knowing your stuff, it intimidates people because people want you to be, um, they want you to be dumb. <laughs> they don't want you to sit up here and know anything. Anything that triggers to make it seem like you know more than them, all of a sudden it's an issue. You know, why is it an issue? Why are you always rolling your eyes every time I ask something? You know, when they ask me a question, you already get mad. You, is there something you need to check out with yourself? <sighs> now, what do you mean? You coming at me with that, that, that own energy. <laughs> Clear, don't come for me if I ain't call for you. You don't want that. <laughs> you know, don't do that. You know, and it'll be different things into your life. Well, you got to be very selective. And a lot of times it could be people that you know for a long time. You know, some people that expiration date long, they don't. You know, it's just like food. <laughs> you know, that mess will go bad. It'll be really bad for your stomach. You know, and you go through things like that. Start looking at the patterns. It'd be people like really hitting below the belt. You go, oh, girl, I'm just playing. Oh, man, I'm just playing. No, you just hating. That's what it is. You know, when people be around you and they start, you know, they're giving you the gas face. Because you say something that they ain't never heard of or they ain't trying to. I was like, oh, you know, tell me about that. You know, I like having intellectual, you know, conversations or different things in the world today that we really need to change about ourselves. You know, and it's just it's aggravating to me right now. <laughs> you know, it's like when you clear out a lot, that mess heightens everything. So I'm up here crying. It could be, you know, seeing a little boy sitting up here nurturing a little kitten on and burst out in tears. I'm like, what the hell? Why would you man up, girl? Stop pushing down like that. You know, and it'll be that. But that's a beautiful thing, you know, because it's like with us being empaths, we, we feel different. We look at things differently. We hit, you know, we, we, we have that strong compassion where it goes very deep. And a lot of times that can be very frustrating. 
You know, because we be sissifying ourselves like, oh, why am I being so weak? Why? You have compassion. You have compassion. And it's just like this is at that time, whatever you're going through is really being trivial. You know, testing you. You know, know your worth. Love yourself. Love yourself enough to know there are certain people you're going to have to let go of. You know, if they ain't reciprocating the stuff that you're putting out, or it just seems like you're all, it's always you. You know, where you telling people about situ situation, they being all secretive. Leave them alone. Because <laughs> they just trying, you know, when people can't talk to you, they'll start talking about you. Or, you you know, you seeing people at the table and they talk about this, this, and that, about everybody around them. Bet you as soon as you get up, they're going to start talking about you next. And God will say, oh, no, I picked you up from that table because that's not your crowd. That's not your level. I took them other people out your life. You know, we think that oh, they don't turn their back on me. No, I made you turn your back on you. They they only supposed to have a certain access to you on a certain vibe and a certain frequency. You have, you know, you don't moved off past that. And it's not about saying, you know, that you better than a person. No, that experience with that person has expired. You learn what you need to learn from that person. You know, you knew what you need to know. You seen what you need to see. Go where you need to go. Now it's time for you to move to that next level. I'm trying to move them too. But you know, if you've been really serious about it, this is at that time where they're telling you don't sleep on yourself. I got some things in store for you that you don't know yet. That's why I'm coming at you hard because I want you to understand. You know how you can hear like certain movies or even certain, you know, even a certain real life thing happen. You know, you would have somebody like, why are they so hard on me? Why they always got to come at me like that? And they don't, they don't do nobody else like that. And they'll come to you like, come here. You know, and you ask them why, hey. Why are you always coming at me like that? You know, why are you always got to be that? And it's like, you know, because I see that true potential in you. You know, it could be a heavy positive. It could be somebody just vindictive as hell. I don't have people like that in school, you know. But then I'll be somebody, I see that love you got. I see that hunger of fire that's in your eyes. You that, you know, you that phoenix that come out the ashes don't even smell like, you know, smoke. You ain't got no soot on you any kind of way. You know, nothing like that, you know. And these are the things I see something you I don't see in a lot of people. And that's why I get hard on you like that because I want you to know what you're dealing with. You know, a lot of times people see more potential and light in us than we do. You know, and some people see that and they admire that and they, they let you know, I know, I like that drive you have. You know, or you, you know, it's just like with me. You know, I, I, it was very rare that I felt love. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I know my mom loved me, but I didn't give her nothing to sit up here and be proud about with me. Because it was always oil and water. It was just conflict after conflict after conflict. And it was just like, I didn't give her nothing to be proud about. But it was just like me being in my anger, me finding out different things about my life that I should have been known. It just made me feel like I wasn't loved, you know. And she really did love me. But it was just so many different things that I was taught to not feel like my mom loved me. You know, the person that was really the culprit is the one who was telling Steph. And it wasn't her, it was him, you know. And so I had to go through these different things in life, you know. Where certain people, they, they just gonna, they gonna crumble your life. But these are the different things you have to understand. You know, there's a lot of times somebody want to bring the mess best in you and want you to be able to recognize that within yourself. And then some people just want to create the mess in you because they ain't got nothing else to do. They don't want to see you. They don't want to see you, uh, ex you know, extend them. You know, because a lot of times people will support you all the time until you start becoming competition. You know, and it's just people that are like that, and they're telling you, you know. Pick your church, you know, your circle wisely. Everybody that's in your, you know, in your circle ain't always in your corner. You know, there'll be different people that see that hunger in you and want to make sure they give you all the wrong answers just because you're going to end up surpassing them. You know, you want to be around people that are constantly adding something new to the table. You know, want to be able to look at something, you know, that, that no can take them somewhere. It's going to open your eyes to stuff and they're going to bring other people in because some people feel like they're, they're the only one can be happy. I'm like, baby, you know how boring and ugly the sky would be if we only had one star we all can be happy we all we ain't on the same boat we ain't walked on the same road do you boo do you you know but you want to be around people that are motivating you they they got that energy to make you want to grow they giving you insight on what you need to do to get to the next level you got people that may see something that you overlooked and like hey come here you know this is this and, you know because even when people come to me you know and they ask me like youtube situations and stuff like that and they're like Roz I'm nervous I don't know what you know I don't know what I should put on my content and this and that you know and it was a blessing when I started mine six and a half years ago where I had blessings where people were coming all in and giving me new insight do this do that God was sending beautiful people to, um, in to help me 
Because it was like me just, you know, looking. I don't know what to do. You know, what's up here doing this. I'm already going through a lot. You know, nervous breakdown. I you know, lost my mind from really trying to find it. You were like, you know, where's Waldo? All different situations like that. So when I know that was a blessing for me to pay it for it, it's like, you know, I had people that really, you know, helped me. You know, there'll be people coming back. You know, like, you know, the first thing I asked, hey, what's the content about? You know? And I was like, oh, this, you know, it's like, you know, talking about Twin Flames or, uh, you know, um, Blu-rays or, you know, Star Seeds and Trillions and stuff like that. And it's, it's just like when you're doing stuff, it's like, okay, what's going on in your life that's very interesting that you feel like somebody may be able to, you know, benefit from. You know, you're going through different experiences in your life and you're trying to find yourself. And you're telling people, you know, I had to go through this. I had to step back after step back. You know, I had people that was coming in my life who really blessed me to get to that next chapter. You know, open me up to a whole new world and never knew what was there. You know, and these are the different things that you are really going through that really is going to help you. But even the people that's in your life that are going to get you against you is honestly helping you too. You know, you got to look at experiences and seeing what they were. You know, cause a lot of times, it's just like my situation. I had people that just, you know, just strife, you know, ratchet, you know. And you always, it was always me, they would bring negative stuff too. And I'm just like, man, they're probably in a bad mood or, you know, they've been going through something. And I would see the red flags right there and just, you know, threw it off as an excuse when it was just, they were doing that just to me. You know, and I really wasn't hearing that. And it was like, I, you know, growing up, it was hard for me to be by myself. I always wanted to be accepted. And I would put myself in not so nice situations just to be seen, just to be heard. Now, it is, it's like when I, after I went through, you know, um, a nervous breakdown, like, it was like, uh, shoot, can't remember. But it was like right after I had my hysterectomy and stuff like that. And it was just, it was bad. But you know, just going through things, and this is when my gifts start coming up, I'm having major spiritual awakenings, breakthroughs, you know, dark night or soul, I'm going through it all, and I didn't understand it, and I just had to be around people, you know, I was like, I don't want to be alone with my thoughts, and they're like, what, <laughs> you okay, you're 5150, what's wrong with you, you know, and it was like, I was scared of knowing the true me, and there's a lot of times, God wants you to, you know, God, universe, and stuff like that, they got something you got a potential in there you have not strongly connected to yet. There's something in you that you know you haven't had initial contact with yet. And a lot of times you can't do that if you wrapped around a lot of people. And a lot of times you get mad, why we gotta be alone? Because there's something you need you being distracted from something that you really need to know about yourself. You know, there are certain things that you really need to pay attention to. And you've got all these people around you, you may not you may be missing it. And this could be a really good thing for you. So a lot of, right now, there's a lot of times where we had to put you know, even when the pandemic started. You know, God was already starting up. Well, he'd been doing a long time, but it was just that, that you know, that hit where everybody had to come, you know, come together. Family had to really mend together. You deciding, is this marriage worth it or now I need to get the heck up out of this? You know, being able to, you know, spend that impact with your kids. Because a lot of times we go through stuff and instead of us want to really, you know, face that and really come to terms with it, we go to work and we want to keep it out. You know, and it's at that time, no, nah, you need to fix this because this stuff need to go. You know, and it's just so many different things that's taking place in your life. You know, and you may have gone through a lot of things. It's like a lot of times you've gone through abuse. You know, there's a lot of people that connect with me. And, um, you know, and they started doing the YouTube thing. I forgot to say that anyway. But it'll be just different things that they say, you know, Rise, I want to talk about my story, but I'm scared. You know, my family might find out and this and this and that you know I don't want any problems and I had to tell him I said what whatever you're talking about is it something that really happened yeah yeah I did you know it's just hard for me to do this this is where God's telling you to express yourself this is your truth this is something you really need to heal from because it's hindering you for a lot of blessings that you truly deserve you know but you've gone through different things in your life where you were in survival mode you are existing you know you didn't really hold on to your truth because you scared that truth was going to, you know, bring you uncomfortability. But you have to understand, your truth is going to irritate somebody a lot anyway. You know, there's a lot of times you got something out there that people don't want other people to do. And I say you don't realize you can go through something that can really impact somebody that's going through the same thing. And you are that person they prayed for. That's why they came to you. And I tell them, go ahead and do what you got to do. I said, I, I, you know, I opened up a whole bag of Pandora's box where I got <laughs> steady you know, uh, death threats. I don't have bounties on my head. Still do. But I'm not going to stop my truth because my truth is my truth. You know, 
I said, shoot, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You know you worried about a lie that you done sit up there and cater to for so long. And somebody going to come out and you're like, wait a minute. You said this and this, this and that. She said this. What's going on here? You know, me, different between me and them. I got some dead going to prove that my stuff ain't lying. You know, and went through that. And it's just I had to get into that point. I was scared too. But it's like you cannot be scared to tell the truth. You have to heal. If you're going through something like you've been touched or whatever, you know, your innocence was stolen. You may have been through child abuse from all these different things that came in life. So it makes you look at the world different. It makes you look at people different. Make it look you look at you different. Like you were something something was wrong with you. No, it's something wrong with other folks where they found that irritating, entertaining to do to you. There's something wrong with them. Ain't nothing wrong with you. But this is at that time, you're taking you snatching your power back. Don't ask permission for that. You snatch your power back, but you give them theirs back, you know, and you show that with gratitude. And a lot of times it's like, Rosalind, something really negative and really hurtful happened to me. How can I have gratitude for that happening? Because it showed you the truth about the monsters out there. It, it's just like a villain, um, you know, uh, innocent person, you know, uh, monsters. And there's just different, different monsters, you know, and it, different things that, you know, somebody else don't went through. You know, and a lot of times it's like even with my situation, I had to say, you know, it's really hard for me to digest that because I went through so much and I had to understand this was passed on for generation to generation. And they picked you to stop that. For you stopping that, the devil don't want that. He want chaos and hell and everything. Everybody be, you know, against each other. You know, we got segregation. We got racist folks out here. People just taking your life like, you know, total disregard over human life. You know, different stuff like that. You see how ugly the world can be. Because I'd be like, Lord, can we just play, make, a, make a planet and just leave all the hateful people there? Yeah, it may be boring as hell. We can leave the doors unlocked. You know, everybody's getting together and we have picnics every day. You know, but I'll be fine with that. Leave all the ratchet people up. We want to be sitting up here touching little kids and, you know, want to be blowing up, stuff like that. Leave them over there. They can do that all to them. And you shoot, kill two birds with one stone, you know. But it, these are the different things that you had to go through. You know, and I tell them, don't, you know, there's a lot of times where you may not get a million views. You know, I've been doing this for six years and I don't have views like that. But it would be frustrating to me, but God is not done with me yet. A lot of times when they know you about to hit something, you won't hit that mother load. A lot of times it's going to take a little bit longer. But they want to see how hungry of a drive you really have to make something good come out of this. You know, a lot of times we don't realize that pain we have, it holds a purpose. You know, I used to ask God, why are you put me through this? Why did I have to go through this? Why did I have to find out the way I find out? Why did it take so long for me to know that this is hurting me? You know, and it's just like, I know you ain't going to understand. I didn't do this to you because it was you. I did this to you because of who you were out to connect with. There's going to be people that can really validate the things that you go through. And it was hard for them to be able to speak up for it. They hid that. They felt like they was afflicted. They felt like something was wrong with them. It would get them in trouble if they spoke the truth. That's what them enemies want you to think. You know, they're going to see you. They're going to see your scars. They're going to see you as that. You know, because I used to go through that. Me loving the people I would love, that you ain't supposed to do that. You speaking on things that you see that other people can't see, you can't do that. That's a mental illness. They're going to put you in a crazy home for you knowing the things you know. Even though they knew I was talking right, they just couldn't explain how I would know the different things it was. My mom knew I was truly special. And it was just like, there's a lot of things that's going to come in connection with you. That's going to make sense when you get to that peak, to that pinnacle. You'll understand, this is what led me to do that. You know, there's a lot of times when we look at the different things with people losing their lives and stuff like that. And we're really trying to understand why you take my family away from me, why you take my baby from me, why you take my parents away. You know, there'll be certain things that goes on, you know. And you see something so hurtful can bring something so beautiful out. It'll be sometime I'll be over here just bawling and sliding up, you know, see somebody who lost their child. And next thing you know, they decide, you know, my son always, you know, my son and my daughter always wanted to help heal the world, you know, and they're not here now. But not realizing that was there going to be a bright patch of uh, passage for you to be able to stay, you know, save the world. Because it's just that for that person to live their life, you know, it may have been cut short. You left that person a donor. That was somebody who actually got a heart, you know, or it was somebody who needed, you know, a kidney. And it, you end up seeing something so beautiful, you know. There was this one um, kid, I forgot what happened, he either got a car accident or whatever. And it was so heartbreaking. And then next, you know, 
guy was having problems sweating like crazy, vomiting and stuff like that, and come to find out he had something in his heart where he was really needing an emergency transplant. And then come to find out this guy needed that. And this woman's son, you can tell they were really tight knit and all that. And, you know, then she see how her son was so precious that he was able to, you know, help somebody else's family, you know, the, the, this woman's husband at. And it was just like for a gift for them, you know, they met up, you know, and she was able to hear her son's heart. And I was just like, oh, God, here come the tears, you know, and it was so beautiful. And a lot of times painful things can come out of our mishaps, but it has a whole, uh, whole line of blessings in there some kind of way where we don't understand what happens. There's a lot of times where, you you know, I love watching um, like these crime so channels, you know, uh, that chapter, uh, what Bailey Syrian, um, Kendall Ray, uh, who else? Um, uh, God dog, uh, what, what, what is it? Uh, Christina Randall and stuff like that. You hear about all these different things that's going on and then they end up making, um, a foundation for certain things, you know, um, and trying to pass a bill off for that. And a lot of times it's like, the mishap and the hurt and pain of us losing a family member that brought something out where a bill needed to be put up for them to be able to do different things. Because it's just like the judicial system. I'll be looking like, y'all doing way too much and you really ain't doing your job. You know, you be thinking somebody, you just picking somebody off the street and you be a cop. You picking somebody out of the bathroom and they be a judge. It'd be certain things. I'm like, make this make sense. You know, but there's a lot of different things that go around where you need to make yourself priority. You know, with us being empaths, we trying to save everybody, be everything to everybody else and be nothing to ourselves. And then when you need to t say no, we feel bad about that. Why? Man? The people that you told no to had no problem telling you no. You better get it real. You better get it right. You know, there'll be times you may not feel like talking to somebody. You know, I, I can tell when certain people that I connect with, you know, um, have really gone some, through some things where they had to really explain their stuff on why they didn't do stuff. I'm like, baby, you could have been busy. You ain't got to tell me what's going on. Shoot, you, you know, you, when you're available all the time, then I'll be thinking something wrong. And even, you know, some people even tell, I even tell my kids, don't make yourself available all the time like that. Cause especially there'll be some people trying to figure you out. Some people throw throw something at you just to see how you're going to throw it back. Even if you throw it back at all. People will test you like that because they already got some schemes. They already know there's something about you that's intimidating. So they're going to try to see how they can really take advantage of you. You got to really peep game when game being presented to you. You know. And those are the different things that you go through where you love yourself. You Sometimes it can be very hurtful you let somebody go. But sometimes you got to love yourself to know this is disrupting my soul. You bringing all this drama to me. I, I, I'm getting tired of all this while I'm always arguing. You know, seeing lies being thrown left and right. You really peeping that out. There's a lot of times, you you know, you can love somebody, but sometimes you got to love them from a distance. This is really disrupting my soul. I need peace. I don't need to be, you know, staying up at night going through a checklist on the reason why you acting crazy like that. And a lot of times, it ain't you. It's them. You know, it is not you. It's them. And if they doing it to you, they don't did it to a couple of other people. It ain't nothing special about it, especially if you're in a toxic relationship, you know, narcissistic relationship. There'd be different things going on. You'd be like, wow, I love them. I did this and I did that and I did this. It never made them happy. You have to understand, nothing you're going to do is going to make them happy. Nothing going to, you know, going to be doing to make them stay faithful to you. Only that person want to change is going to stay faithful to you. Then he knows you're the one. Or then she going to know you're the one. Because there'll be different things where you feel... That person uh, touched a part of your soul that woke up something you didn't know. They're like, <gasps> you like, wait a minute, hold up, whoa, what, what's that? And it makes you feel so different. And you know, there be certain things that are going on that makes you want to heal, that makes you want to be happy. You know, it's only be selective. You know, allowing yourself to, you know, really see things in so many different ways where you'll pay attention to different things. It be um certain situation you've gone through. And it'll be something that you don't heal from or forgot about. And all of a sudden, that that, that episode with a connection like that um, would have popped up. And they seems like, why did I think about that when that person did that? They're trying to remind you. Remember what happened with this, 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 and that? You know? That's the reason why. You know? Because it's just like me. I be very selective. I pay attention. I'm very attentive. You know? Just talk to somebody. Just see how they, you know, they talk. And you just listening. Because a lot of times, if you talk to somebody... They'll tell you so much about yourself just from that one conversation. You know, tell. But these are the different things where we've got to be very choicey. You've got to be very selective. People want to say you picky. Y'all be picky. 
<laughs> I don't want to be making sure I'm walking into something that ain't going to kill me. You're going to stress me out. You know, and these are the different things. You got to love yourself. You got to put you priority. You know, self-care is, is very important. You know, you got to take your time out to be for yourself. And a lot of times it can be, I don't want to do this. It's going to take me away from this. It's going to take me away from that. Look, you need to be able to recharge. You need to be able to recalibrate yourself, you know, because it's like with us being an empath, you got to recharge every day. You know, you really do. And it's just like in this moment of time, so many different things is going on with us going through transition. It's a lot right now. Everything is everything. Everything is just sensitive. And it's just like, you know, you really seeing how life is turning out, how life is unfolding. You know, being able to, you know, because sometimes the road switches up a little bit. You know, universe, okay, you haven't been around down this side. I want you to be able to take it, you know, this way. You know, there's something new. I got wow, oh, you know, I love that. And it's just somebody, you know, put that on pause. Nobody said you had to totally quit, but, you know, I need you to go here. So it's like God is taking you all these different um, experiences. You're learning things. You know, you find out new things about yourself. You know, because, like, right now, when you're clearing out a lot, it leaves room for something that's coming in. And the more you clear, the more sensitive you get. More, more, you know, you start paying attention to more different things that you weren't able to do before when your, your mind was occupied. But now it gets to that point where you've gone through things and, um, you know, you've gone through things, you get tired of people taking advantage of you. And it's just like you have to love yourself. A lot of times you got to love people from a distance. You know, there are a lot of people you don't want to let go of. But if it's, you know, being trauma to your soul and every time, you know, you say saying certain things and it has to be repetitive, leave that person alone. They know exactly what they're doing. They heard you the first time. They understood the first time. But it, it's becoming a habit. You know, we can. I'm like that person, two second strike. And the third one, I'm gone. You know, a lot of times it ain't even the third one. It'd be the second one, you know, because I'm not going to keep repeating myself. I don't like being repetitive, you know, because I ain't got time. I'm not going to explain to you why you shouldn't be doing that, you know. So it got me to that point. And, it, it, you know, I used to always say I got dogged out left and right from people, you know. And it was just like now when I can look at it, I appreciate that. Because now I know what to not waste my time on, what things to pay attention to. Don't fall into a trap again. Because there are a lot of times you go through stuff and universe will put you on a certain uh, journey and give you that same lesson, you know, but a different way. Just to see how you're going to do that. He's like, are you going to, you know, you seeing the different things that's being projected on you? Are you that lonely that you're unwilling to cater to something that's just not good for your, your you know, your vibe? You know, are you really going to put yourself out there to really... You know, because there are people that you don't do that because they don't like being lonely. You know, they feel like they got to be with somebody that actually feel like somebody. I said, you ain't got to be with somebody. You are somebody. You are somebody. And a lot of times it's just like when they telling us to be by ourselves because it would be a time where I used to jump in relationship with relationship and then wonder why I'm dealing with psychopath psychos and, and just barbiturate liars. You know, all those different things because I didn't give my chance myself time enough to really heal from the last toxic relationship or bad relationship. You know, and I always tell you, when you get out of one, take time to grieve. Give you a grieving period. Don't, you know, jump into another one. Because some, some people, you know, you break up with somebody. Next thing you know, they done popped up having somebody that quick. Okay, th this is not going to be a tit for tat thing. You know, just because they did that, that's them. You know, but a lot of times, oh, I got to be with somebody else. I can't be by myself. With yes, you can. You need to learn. You need to learn. What, what did that relationship teach you? What did you need to learn? You know, because a lot of times, you know, sometimes you can be with the most god-awful person. And you're just like, uh-uh, uh-uh. But you have, I wish I never met them. And I had, you know, there's some time I had to catch myself. I'll be talking in heat in a moment. And it, it's just like, appreciate that. Those people teach you a lot, you know. It's like no no relationship that you connect with is um, a waste of time. You learn something out of that. You know, you have to allow yourself to see why things didn't work. Certain things that I should have did, certain things I shouldn't do. You know, I should have did. And those are the different things from those experiences. You're leveling up. You know, when you allow yourself to be selective about what you talk about, being selective about what you invite in, you know, you're, you're a sacred vessel. You know, there's different things that's going on. You know, certain energies is not going to uh, mesh well. So you're going through all these different things. And it's allowing yourself when people don't really see your worth really don't appreciate you as a person what you bring into the table you know really you know don't appreciate you at all you have to you know when they want to play you like a joke leave them like it's funny <laughs> you got to do that you know you have to love yourself to be able to walk away sometimes and sometimes it's hard to do that 
you know but you have to it's like well it's fun while it lasts it's just even people that you know i've had ne negative experiences with it had to come to a time where you know even when we don't talk anymore and it could have been something very uh hurtful very stressful i'm not going to allow myself you know out of the heat of argument say i wish i never met that person because i did have a good time you know we, we you know we chilled had fun we cut up a rug act stupid whatever you know, and I just appreciate those things. But even if it would end badly or negative, you know, just appreciate what you, you know, what you had when it was there. They always tell us, don't look for the future and think these people are going to be in our lives all the time. You know, because sometimes it be for a reason, sometimes it be for a season. And we have to be able to appreciate that moment while it's still there. You know, and they teach you a lot. You teach them a lot. You know, but this is at a time, you know, like I said before, universe and God will put us in situations where, you know, you don't have love for yourself. They'll put you all through some mess. <laughs> and, you know, and then just see how you want to be able to do that. You know, and there'll be times where you see, you know, I picked this because I was just, I didn't want to be alone. And it's just like you see what happens, you know, because a lot of times we jump into one relationship and not give ourselves that time to grieve from that last relationship. You don't realize you're dealing with the same demon except different faces. You're dealing with the same thing. And they want you to be able to learn from every, uh, experience you have be able to see what lessons and teachings there you know that you really need to just soak in really have to embody for yourself so you can move to the next level and you know when you allow yourself to love yourself first you know it may hurt but it's like no this is this this right here uh, -uh. <laughs> this has got me too much you got me up and uh -uh. you get me stressed out so i gotta go you know, there'll be some people, you know, I'll give you that explanation. Some people I'll just block. You'll be like, Dad, what you got? I can't find it. Uh huh. Well, you showed me you, and I didn't like that. So, you know, peace be will. Love and light. I'm stay. <laughs> Gotta go. You know, and you have to be able to do that. So, when you're in that, that situation where you're in a prime of transition, it really t teaches you a lot. And a lot of times we go through negative situations, and it's kind of hard for us to really appreciate that at that time but it's like when you get that time to chill for a minute and you're allowing yourself to really soak it in look at it it's like dad that person really taught me a lot you know a lot of times you know it, it just shows you different things you truly need to learn for yourself and like i said if you lack in love they're gonna put you in a situation where you have no choice but to love yourself because you don't somebody gonna send you up ish creek without a paddle you know, you need different things where you don't have confidence in yourself. Universe is going to put you in certain situations to take you out of your comfort zone. Or then bring somebody else to put you out your comfort zone. You know, and make you do things that you, you know, you may have an interest in, but you're scared. You know, a lot of times we get scared for public speaking. You know, just like people are like, Rosalind, you know, I get nervous. You know, I don't know how you be doing your videos. There'll be certain times, I'm like, hey, if you can't tell, I'm, when I'm nervous, I must be good. You know, there'll be certain things that Universe want me to talk about. And I'm like, look, man. You know, because I'm not trying to bring a personal situation to this. It's like, you ain't got to do that. You can control yourself. You know how to say and not to say. You know, you, you're you trying to be from a, a positive situation. So a lot of times I had to, you know, be selective. Because it's like, even though I went through something with somebody, I'm not trying to put out nobody's character like that. Because, you know, it's just like, shoot. They'll tell myself, let that mess me. <laughs> let it, let it unfold. But be in a situation where universe will guide me to talk about something that's very uncomfortable for me. But it's like, you, you're learning. You're learning. It's not like you're saying, you know, be different things when y'all leave me messages like, hey, Rosa, can you make a video about this? And it's like, oh, I really don't know nothing about that. But I'll be honest, like, hey, you know, this came across and somebody wanted me to make a, you know, a video about it. And I was reading up on it. Very interesting. And I'll say, I ain't never been through this before, but, you know, I'll make a video about that. And it'll be guiding me towards different things that I end up picking up about myself that I didn't even know. I'm like, hey, thank you. You know, I didn't know what that was and this and this and that. And, you know, and that's a blessing that you're doing, you know. And it's just like the universe is taking us these different stages that's going to be very scary. But this is at that time. we got to be very selective about what we choose to entertain, what you continue to entertain. You know, you can love people, but sometimes you're going to have to love them from a distance. You, you can't change nobody. You know, you can't make nobody love you. You know, you can't make nobody be faithful. All those different things. And you go through that to find your worth. Find that love within yourself. You know, sometimes, you know, so you gotta, they say you got to love what you got for you have to lose what you, you know, love what you lose. You know, and, and, and you, you're you doing that. And it's just like so much stuff I've been through, it lets me love myself a lot more. Not nobody, you know, 
going off of opinions of how people define me, what I define of me. Not worrying about what people call me or tell me out in the streets because that's not none of my business. I know what I represent. I know what I did and what I didn't do. I have no problem with telling people the things that I went through in the past. So it's not that proud. You know, I'm not proud of the things that I did. But I was, I had to learn. Don't worry about how people perceive you. you know, especially if you know you're not in that type of vibe no more. Don't be shameful of that. We all got secrets that we don't want people to, you know, be knowing about. There'll be embarrassing things we all gone through. Because I said, you tell me the first per person that you got this clean as a on whistle. Ain't got no elephants. Ain't got no skeletons up in the bed or whatever. Please let me know about that because I really want to know that. You know, we get scared about that. I've seen how people will put up this situation because they want to be seen in a certain way. I'm like, I ain't doing that. You know? Because I had to be, you know, I've been through a lot in my life and it was a lot of things that I was embarrassed about. And it's not, you know, I've been through that. You know, I used to dance. I used to be an exotic dancer. You know, I know shoplifted. I don't wrote a bad check. You know, me looking at Unifex all the time. I'm like, oh, God, please let this tech go through. I feel like my dear for a minute. And I went through those different things because I always heard, you know, you may be, may be famous one day. You know, stop doing stuff for you. You know, people end up finding out. I'm like, look, I, I had three girls. I had my babies at early age. I, I had to do what I had to do. I had to sacrifice to make sure I had lights on. My kids had food on the table. I had gas to go back and forth where I needed to do. There's different times I, you know, juggle like two and three jobs at the same time, hustle on the side. You know, I've done things like that. But it's just like I, I allow people to know that because I'm telling you, don't, don't sit up here and allow somebody to, you know, hinder you on what you had to do. I mean, there's some people I know that had to be a man of the night, a lady of the night. And then next thing you know, they, they use that to be, um, like a motivational speaker on how they got out of those situations. People being a motivational speaker about how they got out of DV. You know, don't ever let somebody shame you. Nobody can't judge you but God. You know, people who judge you ain't even got half of their daggone stuff together. You know, don't allow yourself to, to make up a, a persona about you that ain't true out of the faint, out of people accepting you. Either, you know, people going to know you and appreciate you for what you are and going to really respect you and admire you because you've been honest. You know, you if you're not living that life the way you did, you know, we had dark moments, it's okay. You know, we all did some different things, but when you know, I don't have no problem with you knowing that. Yeah, I've been to jail. Yeah, I'm burning up somebody's stuff and bust a window out your car. I am did stupid stuff like that before, you know. But now it's just like, look, I want to drink the new black, white, or blue for me. I ain't trying to go to jail, you know. So I, sometimes when I be feeling all, you know, itchy, <laughs> you know, ready to, you know, whoop somebody ass type dot com, getting homesick, you know, I'll put my put on here orange and new black, or you know, six days lockdown, you know, <laughs> all the different stuff. You're like, no, nah, it ain't for me no more. <laughs> I'm good, you know, and really allow myself to backtrack. But I tell people, be proud of who you are. You know, I came a long way. Even if you're not, you're going a long way. But don't allow somebody to judge you and make you feel bad because you went through something. You know, when you allow yourself to say, I don't, I don't care about you knowing that. You may find a mugshot. You may find an embarrassing picture of me. But at least you can say, oh, shoot, Rosalind told us about that. She done kept it real. You know, a lot of people that I have on here admires me for that. You know, keep it real. I'm very transparent. If I feel like it's something that's uncomfortable, I know I don't want to be honest about, I'm just not going to say it. But I'm not going to sit up here. You know, I've seen too many people on YouTube that said one thing. And so, oh, you said that? And they've got people that watch you like a hawk and know exactly the time stamp, what day it was, maybe five, six years ago, and tell you what you were wearing. I'm like, dang, you really don't have nothing else better to do, do you? You know? Uh, you know, and I had people around that really hated me for that. But I said, I'm not caring about what other people think for me. I'm not looking for approval. I'm not waiting for external validation. I validate me. I know who I am. I know what I'm not. You know, it may be out in the street with something else different. Or they want to just sit up here and add something to make me look bad. And I was like, shoot. You go ahead and pull your stuff out and we're we, we going to compare about stuff like that. I don't have nothing to prove. I be me. I like being transparent. Because it's just like when you know you can see a part, part of your life where it was very dark for you. We all don't went through storms. We go in and out of them. But you end up knowing. You know, that, that's why I always say you, you can be ruthless because why is all hurricanes and earthquake got a name to it? You know, and you become that. You become your own storm. You become your own beast because you went through something and you were able to survive and come out of that. But they're like, you had to go through that. Stop existing. Stop surviving. And allow yourself to experience life. Love life. You know, and a lot of times we go through stuff. I've been there where pain got so unbearable. I wanted to end everything. 
you know, and I had to keep telling myself, you got something good. Don't allow that devil, don't allow enemies, don't allow people to intimidate you, make you question your worth, make you question that you're on the right path. God is one who, who reassures that. He'll tell you all the time. You know, different numbers, different posts, and all these different things that's taking place in your life to really encourage you. You know, love yourself. Be selective about the people that you bring into you. Because this is your sacred vessel. Hell, it's even very sacred when you're sleeping around with somebody because whew, that energy ain't good. You know, not, not everybody energy good. Not everybody energy pure. So it ain't good to be bringing all that in. I always telling people, you, you hiss around with somebody like that and they got like they janky. You getting all that junk, they, they bring it along with it. Don't do that. <laughs> you know, you got to be set, selective. So, you know, allowing yourself to really learn. Be, you know, if there are certain things to where you feel like you, that you can't talk about or people get, un you know, uncomfortable because you're speaking the truth and speaking realness, they ain't your, your type of company. Move accordingly. You need that. <laughs> so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Farrah Hazard. Much love to you and Kate. You know, good to have you. You know, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, I'll leave my uh, contact situation. Um, I said situation. Contact information in the description box below. You know, um, it's all about spiritual networking. You know, being able to understand the path of purpose. There are certain things that may you may want to share with me you've gone through. And, you know, when it's like, did you ever go through this? Or, you know, why was this? You know, I try to be able to help people the best way I can. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential. You know, and we can move it like that. You know, also, if you're on my community page on my, my channel, I do have my podcast on there and do those things, too. Um, they're on Spotify, you know, and they're very informative. It's not like, you know, some people do Spotify, I mean, uh, podcasts and they do videos, the same video on audio, but it's different things. But it's still, you know, uh, informative, motivational, you know, all those little things. And if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, cap asses, cap app is, I said cap ass. <laughs> Cash app. It's in the description box below. You know, and whatever you're working on into your life to try to bring in fruition, stay woke. Allow yourself to be consistent. Don't get complacent. You know, there's a lot of things that's not going to e easily come open doors for you. But this is a thing that's going to make you have your whole building where you can build doors yourself. So allow yourself to keep going. If you need to take a pause for the cause, do that. But you come back stronger than you fell back because this is your time. This is your season. And there's a lot of reason. So you allow yourself to keep going because there's beautiful things that's coming to you. And I'm sending so many beautiful blessings to be able to get you on that jump start. You know, don't give up. Anything that is worth waiting is worth waiting for. So be persistent. The devil would love to be able to make you doubt yourself. People around you will make you want to doubt yourself. Keep going because they see the potential and light in you that they don't want you to see in yourself. So, you know, have a blessed faith. Uh, special, how's it? Nice, great weekend. <laughs> Be prosperous, be respect, you know, be respectable, uh, and be responsible. That's what I meant to say, you know, and all those nice things. And I hope you have a good weekend. And plus, you know, uh, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibe, frequencies. You never know; those things will really take somebody a long way. And just because you were selfless to help somebody out, it's going to take you even further. Peace.